Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and my series where I show you how to make building easier. I'm kicking my microphone, kicking, poking my microphone as I'm moving my keyboard and whatever not. So I'm sorry about that. The update for The Sims 4 just came through last night and a lot of controversy has been going through the update information as it is. The most excited people have been over is these items that I have shown here. Looks quite a mess right now, doesn't it? But I'll go through some of my favorite items that I found through the debug menu and I shall also show you how you can get your fingers on them because I saw quite a few people having trouble finding them and apparently people don't use these cheat items when they're free to use. Majority of the items don't actually pay or cost for the same much or at all. So they're really good items that you can just, you know, give a little bit more character for the build or whatever you're doing. But let's start with the how to get your hands on these. With the Ctrl Shift C we open our cheat box here on the top again and we will start with testing cheats on. Now cheats are enabled. I have found out that you don't always have to actually put this cheat on. Some of the cheats work without you putting testing cheats on. I haven't gone through what cheats work, what does not, but I have noticed that the next one, bb dot show hidden objects on, uh, true, actually true, I think it is, that with this, you can find there's this search bar on top here. You press enter after you have written debug. It searches all these random items here. That this cheat works without testing cheats on. I have noticed that. But that's not our goal here. I mean, these are already known items. There's books, there's drinks, there is fishing ponds and babies. <laughs> It's a little creepy, uh, but these are not the new items that we came to see. Okay, so we are gonna reset this and we are gonna go back to here. We are gonna open the cheat box again and go bb show live edit objects. You don't need to put true on, nothing like it. You put that on. And then we can write the debug here on the search bo box again. Enter. And now you can already see the difference between the two screens. That there is stuff here that wasn't there before. Right? And now, because we are on limited space and I have already filled it up, I am also going to move objects. Um, maybe. Oh, I'm on the search bar. Learn from me, kids. Learn from me. <laughs> there we go. Move objects on. So we can actually, you know, take stuff out and try to put them somewhere when I have already pretty effectively filled this space out. Yeah. So we have trees that cost in zero symbols. We have a lot of like bushes and things like that. We have like, I don't even know what this is. Whatever that is. But the main thing about these objects are that, well, actually, I'm going to read it from the up, uh, the patch notes. Uh, enabling the cheat will unlock a new set of objects in build mode to decorate your lots with. Rocks, trees, bushes, signs, and all sort of environment objects. These objects are environment objects, which our artists use when creating worlds. Which means the fences like so, the little shrubs here, uh, these rocks here most likely, you know, all sort of like uh, stuff that you don't actually get to buy yourself, like some sort of trees and stuff. We are in Newcrest, so there's not probably that much going on here. But for example, that bush is different size than what you actually can buy a regular menu. So but that means that we the items that we are getting now are not optimized for any house building or lot use. 
So the most obvious issues that we might see is that Sim walks through these items on a home lot or park, for example. Because I think these fences are such a good example. They're not that great looking, some of them. They're a little bit low poly. For example, this fence here, not that great, right? So it means that this fence definitely will be something that they will walk through because it, it's not actually anything at all. And then, for example, this bridge here, absolutely gorgeous, love it. But that will mean that the sim will not walk over it, okay? That's not a thing that they will do. And this slope here, not gonna walk over it. This boat, not gonna <laughs> go on a ride with it, nor this one, okay? Definitely not gonna fly with this airplane. What I have gathered here on the lot is now items that caught my eye and I saw something I could use in the future. So let's just start with something very obvious, which is like this one here. Let's move it a little bit here. And it's kind of like a very low poly, really not actually that great looking, but it, it has a purpose and it can be fixed with some items, I'm sure, like pushing some flowers on top or, you know, whatever. It has its uses, and I can I can see it being used for beautiful wedding. Wedding art can be under here, and you know, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. Okay, I can see many many uses for this. Um, I can also see many uses for this that I already showed you because it is something that anyone who likes to build with medieval kind of things will be using. Same with this one. Like, these are perfect for that sort of thing. There was also a gazillion of different type of rocks and things and just many of like... Uh, these kind of like uh, landscaping items that you can come and find all the way down in the menu. There we go, they are there, but they're really far away. And yes, they are separated uh, by backs. So if you need, you remember in like um, Pretty Little Bay, there was a certain rock that you really wished you were able to get for your build. You can filter them out through packs here. You are able to do that. So if you remember something that you really, really badly want, it's able to be done. Also, I saw this very intriguing looking thing. I'm not sure what this is exactly or where... Anyone know where this has been used? I don't. So if you know where it is, do tell me. I'm very curious of seeing how this has been used. So show me. I loved it. It's pretty. So, I mean, it's okay. Then we also got these little slabs of pavement tiles, whatever you want to call these. And they are perfect for making a little bit of a, like, um, path to your home. These are perfect for such a thing. Like, these are so cute. I love them. Like, you can a little bit, like, with the alt, you can move them around a little bit again. You can a little bit move them, like, so. And this is not the same kind, but, you know, you get the gist out of it. Yeah, yeah, you get the idea. So we can get rid of those. Yeah. And if you love to make farmhouses and you want to have... Oh, my cats are fighting. Okay, where was I? Um, I was saying, yeah, uh, farmhouses. If you are building farmhouses and you would love to have a little bit of a field for them, but you do not wish to have a ton of apple trees and pear trees and onions and whatever, you know, the actual vegetables and stuff that to fill up your field of the lot. You can use these little like cabbage heads. There was another option of it as well. I came across to it, but I don't know anymore where it is. It was somewhere. I found them, they were here. Just, you need to go through and kind of check it, check everything out for yourself to see what it is. So, but I found this cabbage head and it was really, really cute. So 
this is something you can consider for putting on a farm plot. Then with the island living, uh, was it expansion? I think it was expansion, wasn't it? Was it expansion? Yes. <laughs> had to had to make sure was it expansion or game pack. Um, there was these great ideas for shipwreck and plane wreck and all these like uh, container houses. So I think this model came with actually jungle adventures. So this is a great one. You can just shove up on the back of the lot and it kind of has a backstory how they got there or maybe it's a mystery lot and everyone is kind of trying to figure out what happened here. I don't know. This was pretty cool. I liked it. And it wasn't that low quality one either, which made it even better. Then we have this weird, like, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's like an awning, but it's not kind of... The issue with these items is that, well, let me put a wall here. So there's a little bit more space here. And then let's put the grid on. The problem with these is that they kind of, they are, hmm, well, it sort of goes into the wall, it is doing what it's supposed to, but I think it's meant to be taller wall. Now with this it looks a little ridiculous, which means I would need to go and push it up to make it a little bit more Ideal height, I guess. It vanishes as well when you go too close to it, like so. Yeah. But that just supports the warning of that these are creating the world items, not like the environment items. So that just shows that they are not supposed to be used. So that was kind of a cool thing as well. I like this. It didn't have any other colors that I could see. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but. It can be used in like a huge townhouse build, probably like a cafe on the downstairs or something like that. Yeah. Then I saw this and I have no idea what it is. I, I assume it's a some sort of a gravestone, whatever, but it doesn't have any signs or pictures or nothing on it. So I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool looking, I think. And then there was these like used old... Um, style walls and fences and things and these were pretty cool i like these i could see someone creating something really awesome with like a old um broken down castle maybe that could be a pretty cool idea to do with this i like that i do not know if this works i have yet to test it out in live mode but i hope it does because i love it it's gorgeous don't you think? Absolutely beautiful. Then I loved this. I think this is the gate for the pet cemetery in Predator Bay. But I like it. It's so pretty. It's wonderful. It goes along with the tile. Um, let's go a little bit back with the this one. They are same um, style. So they go well together like that. So then what we shall look at next? Well, I think the obvious one, this one. I think this is gorgeous. I am sure it could be used on a park lot, maybe some wedding lots, something like that. It is beautiful. It is white. I don't know. It, it can be used. Um, what I do notice that the pillars are not going exactly onto the middle of the square it is not i um, well it's not finished product in a sense for like usable items so that's a little bit bummer then there was multiple of these different sizes let's go back to the debug menu if i can find them again um if i can type with my left hand i'm a righty so my lefty is a little bit like uh, having its own mind let's see yeah here you can see that there's multiple different kinds and that's pretty cool, I think. You can do 
pretty much anything with these now. I can imagine people are using them for house builds, no problem. And just pulling, let's just pull any flower from here now. I think you can put them on top here, yeah? Do you need to lift them up a little bit, possibly? To make it seem a little bit more... Or did they float now? No, they're perfect. Okay, so you can uh, raise them by one and then put them on these like flower banks and they are brilliant. I am so sure that we will see so many good builds with those. Um, then there was another gate that I loved, loved, loved. I do not know which back this came from, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't think the lights... Oh, these lights work, but I don't think these lights work. Yeah, but these lights work. That's really, really good. I love it. I don't think we have anything similar per se for a fence that I put out as an example. No. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but we can always work around that, right? Then I saw this little bit like weird little... I don't even know what this is. What is this? What is it? I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool, so I just put it out here. Maybe someone can find something to do with it. I don't know. Then I found these like uh, pipe thing looking things. I don't know. This could be a fence, I guess. This has been used as a fence somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Um, not in Newcrest, but it was somewhere else. I saw these in a line as a fence, you know. Maybe these were in between even. Not sure. But this is a, definitely a good item for any like a city street or cafe build on a street. Yeah. Then I found these like uh, drain things. I like them. I don't know. Actually, yet again for any uh, street build. I love it. Then this like a broken down pier up or fen uh, bridge maybe. I don't know. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. And I think these came with... Uh, no, it didn't. Actually, I don't think I put them out. It, it's kind of the same as these items. That you can make into similar uh, fence. Kind of, I guess. Not sure. But that's a thing. They're similar, I think. They could be from the same back. Then, indeed, these lamps, they don't have a light, as you could see. They don't give light. I, I, don't, I don't think they do. If they do, it's very, very faint and not really good for any house build. Then I found these two little weird crates. I don't know what they could be good for, but I think they were from Cats and Dogs expansion. So they, they have some meaning. I do not know what it is. They were pretty good looking, so they could be used for any hunter's cabin, maybe. I don't know. Then there was this pile of construction stuff. Very cool. I like that. Also found this very lovely little sign. And I love it. It's so cute. It's so super cute. I, I, I love it. I love it. Same with this. Absolutely adorable. Look at it. Okay. Then I indeed found this boat. I think the model came in Isle of Living. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it came from there. Then we have this little wheelbarrow. Love it. it could, it's perfect uh, clutter for any farm build. And indeed this uh, beer thing. Anyone who likes to build like a... Possibly a cruise ship in Zulani could, could get something out of this. Very good idea. And then there's the little boat. I love that too. Uh, anyone with an eco-living idea in their head, we have the sun panels now, technically. I, I would consider these sun panels. Uh, we could consider, like, be like, yeah, they, they they get their energy from, you know, sun with this. I, I do not know. It, it could be an idea for some story purposes. I'm not good at that, but just an idea. And then... The most obvious that was at the front, but I didn't come to until now, is the limo. I think we saw these parked in Dells of Valley and San Maishuna. I'm pretty sure that they both had similar models in. 
I didn't find but just one limo uh, until now anyway. I did it really late yesterday night uh, going through these items before bed. We had had a long day. We had been a zoo, so I had, uh, I had a <laughs> little bit of a cross-eyed moment when I was looking through these items, but this was really cool addition, I think. Then we had a little bit of a bird food seed box, whatever, and I also saw this glass pitcher. I don't know if it's been there before, but I noticed it now and I loved it. Then we have a multitude of different kind of flowers in some sort of a pots. Uh, there is also hanging flowers, but these required me to pull them up in the air. I wonder if I can find them again somewhere. Give me a moment here when I browse through. Yeah, here. Uh, they're here. They are base game, apparently. Um, but the problem you can see when I pull it out now is that they're on the floor. So you do need to go the effort of control N9 and then kind of look at the height of the wall to get it onto the right height for the ceiling to hit for it so it's not floating in the middle of the air, right? I had the shorter wall before, so now I had to pull it even higher, okay? I think most of these are really cute. Some of them more usable than the others. I can see this used a lot. And this kind of a little fencing was a really cute idea as well, but uh, they don't really connect well, so you will probably need to control and pull them together so, which does mean that it will flicker more or less and it, mm -hmm, it will take a while to make a proper, you know, fence out of it. But if you're not bothered by it, just push them together with the move objects like so and it'll do the job just the same. This was really cute. I liked it. These were huge. I think I sized them down from this size. So remember that you can use the size up and down on these. They don't need to be this big. They can be smaller as well if you so wish. But majority of these, except for these two, were the right size. Then I saw these little items and I swear these came with Island Living. Maybe this as well, I'm not sure, but these are freaking adorable. Like when you do any type of um, survivors, home, whatever, like a Sulani type of build, this is absolutely perfect to there. And I think this as well. It has a little bit of oddity collection of the clothes, like jeans on there but you know we can we can completely ignore that and i do appreciate the little detail of the clothes pins there and i think if you make a any lot that has multiple apartments i know apartments not are not exactly a thing in the sims you can't you can live in some my shoe no but you can't build a apartment building yourself technically you can we can get to that also at another point, if you want to, you need to let me know if you want to. But this would be perfect for that. Like with this, eight single sims could be living in the same apartment building. And they would all have their own mailbox, technically. Then we have these. And I love the idea of these. If they match on some sense of a wall height, these will be great. I need to probably make a room so I can easier go up, up and do kind of a like a... Did I just make... Oh my goodness. Built like me. Yes, guys, follow my lead. Like that. Okay, so we can do like so. It does follow the wall. So it's really, really nice. Yes, we have a truck and we have a complete collection of uh, non working but as a decorative cars to choose from like i actually shared a couple of rooms of cars let's see you can see my battle um battle tech no my um 
uh, origin ID here as well. So we have collection of Deepak cars, a lot of them, like a ton of them. Okay, so that's really nice. Then we had a couple of uh, different kind of fences here that were just these, and they had those pillars separate. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, there was a short one as well. I was going to say I don't remember if it did, but it did. So that's good. And this was the fence that I was saying that is such a low poly and is not actually that great looking, but it can have its uses. I can imagine it does. So there's that. And I loved this. It was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it does take a little bit of a skill to, with the alt, to connect these to together to make it look like it's actually connecting to each other there. It will have a little bit of flicker to certain point if you over you can see the little flicker. I'll put a little circle around it you can see yeah. Uh, when you see that kind of a flicker it means that the person has used a ton of move object items and probably exactly to the uh, alt moving and colliding items together which means that it can be possible that the build is not actually livable and doesn't work as it's intended but it's just for the looks. Uh, the same fence had a shorter version of it as well. It was really nice. I love this. I love this fence so much. It's so gorgeous. It even had the end pole. Like you can just make a little short bunch of it. You can have the broken bits. It was so pretty. I loved it. Um, there was a... You can see kind of the shrubs here. On here. These shrubs are as well on the debug menu. So you know. But this fence had the items by itself. And for this, again, you need to kind of snuck the pole to the right spot so it looks like it's actually a connected fence again. So there's a lot of effort you need to go through with these now. And that's a little bit of a shame, but hey, they gave us new items that can be worked out, so I'm okay with that. Absolutely love this. A little bit of a gate look thing. I do not know if Sims can go through it. Most likely can, but they will probably go through the door instead of, you know, going around it. But one can dream. Uh, then there was the other versions of the same fence of the shrubs. Then we had these, like a uh, log, log fences, like so different colors. Absolutely perfect for any hermit, uh, um, hermit uh, cabin, probably. Absolutely gorgeous. Then we had a collection of weird, weird stuff, like... Uh, you can see this fence here. It's technically this one here. Uh, these don't connect well. These are base game items, which means that they are a little bit of buggy. And these are not high poly, which means that they... They will vanish when you go near them. So these are definitely something that you should be aware of when you build with these. And I do appreciate these as well. These were a really good idea. They connect re fairly well when you actually go through the effort to connect them like so. So they look pretty good. They rocks connect in a sense. You can see that there is a line, but forgive yourself and the game for that. And another gate that is from Bambers, I think. And then there was a ton, a ton, 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 ton of shrubbery and bushes and things and chingmatics that I absolutely loved. And this looks like it would be already in game, but this is actually something I haven't seen. What is happening with my mouse? Jesus. Um, it looks a little bit like. This one, but it's not. And it looks a little bit like this one, but it's not. So it is definitely a new... If if you like doing, you know, like Japanese uh, cherry flower type of things, this is definitely for you. And with that little um, decorative um, where the two of these trees were together, you know, that was very pretty. So with that, excellent choice to go and decorate something. We had a little bit of a, a different uh, colored flowers and thingamajigs and a lot of grass, different type of grasses here. Then there was these two little cuties. I like these a lot. They were really cute. They're low poly, but no can do. 
this was gorgeous this was gorgeous this was even more gorgeous <laughs> and then there was these bushes that were uh, three together i don't know if there was versions that there was only them alone but i love these i love this a lot that was okay to do as well and this was pretty cool looking as well i like this and uh, and then there was these trees that were punched up together easy to do some like massive uh, decorative things for any starter home this is making it so easy right now like you can make gorgeous starter homes with these if you want to go through the effort that's the point here if you like to go through the effort and i like this pine tree because it looks a little bit <laughs> It looks like um, any finished pine tree, basically. It's not pretty like so, but they kind of mm, do their own thing. And then there was this huge... I don't even know what this is, but it, it was there. And I kind of liked it. it. It gives me a little bit of a fantasy vibe. So that that's a, something someone can use somewhere, sometime. I don't know. Did I miss something? Probably not. I kind of showed everything that I appreciated a lot. So, then we could take a look at the loading screen. And yes, um, I have a lot of trouble with the color. I am sure I can get used to it. But what I most have trouble with is the bloom bob. I can't look at it. I have really bad motion sickness every once in a while. And that just gives my eyes such a sore. <laughs> And it's really sad. I, I really don't think that would be something I would need to go through when I'm playing The Sims. But I don't even remember. Someone mentioned on Twitter that the loading screens used to be blue. And I don't even remember that. I only remember the white loading screen. Do you remember the blue original loading screen? Because I don't. And then let's uh, uh, also take a look at the main menu. Let's look how it looks. Thank goodness I have two screens because that blood pop is really making my eyes hurt. Um, I don't know about this. I am the person who enjoys this sort of teal color. But I really enjoyed having all the packs different color. It made me building so much easier. I, in, I remember that the wall print was red and the seasons was uh, green and you know get to work was orange and stuff like that i remember where what item was from what pack when i saw the little icon color on the top on the top corner on the build menu it feels bad that they did this it's a yet again it's one of those things you get used to of course you do it's a human mind that is doing that and i do not know what's the thing here what are these dudes what do they do here why are they here? <laughs> I do not know. I really do not. Um, what we can do also is to just head over to here. And we can probably take a look at that uh, story thing for Create a Sim. Here we are on the loading screen of the Gibson family, which is my not so berry. And you can see that the orange family is living here in the Sulani. But I am going to go over to the house, new household and see how the story mode oh, is Benaya. done. Um, I don't know why we are... Oh, here it is. Add sim via a story. Okay, let's do that. Let's start with an easy question. What age am I? Young adult. Fox critters and all of that. They're fascinating. Nope. At a one with more... Mm -hmm. They're fascinating, I admit that. I've got a pile of documents stacking up. What do I do? Sort them out. Um... <laughs> Part of them is the time capsule, that's a very good one. Uh, let's sort them out. The great outdoors are... It's in its name, great. Outside, I'm inside, where frogs live, ew. It's in its name, great. What do I most want to do in a trip to Selva Dorada? Hmm. Venture the jungle? Explore the ancient ruins, yes. I found an ancient relic of some kind. It belongs in a museum. If I could be remembered for one thing, what would it be? All the art I've made, the contributions to science for everything I've collected, the art I've made. 
Home is where my stuff is, where the heart is, where I feel safest. Um, I'm tempted to say this, but I think for real it's this one because I love my home and that is where I feel like my home is. So that. The best stories have happy endings, have unexpected Unexpected plot twists are written by me. Uh, unexpected plot twists. I am reading my own book. Be aware of that. But right now, this. I found a strangled plant outside. Strangle plant. Oh my goodness, English. A strange plant outside. What do I do? <laughs> who who does answer that? Who does answer that? Avoid. It might be poisonous. Oh my goodness, the world is in peril, what do I do? Go undercover, I trade in the other fears, I am I am the peril. <laughs> there are some gamers on YouTube that I know will be answering this, no doubt about that. So I'm gonna go undercover. And who do we have? We have... I do not know what's going on. Hey, nice to meet you. Feel free to assign my gender, adjust my appearance, select my clothing, and don't forget to give me a name. Okay, so we are painter extraordinaire, we are family orientated, creative and neat. We are a career secret agent, life, uh, live life unnoticed as a covert operative uh, from infiltrating enemy headquarters to the art of interrogation. The more you learn, the less you'll be known. Bonus skill, logic. Okay. Skill, painting, the art of putting brush to canvas and creating something that can evoke an emotional response is not easy. For those sims that choose to paint colorful creators and maybe some big cells lie in their future. All right. Skill, uh, archaeology. I never know how I exactly call this, uh, pronounce it. Uh, seems like you are driven by the search of knowledge and treasures lost to time. Spending a lot of time... Um, in the dirt can be very rewarding. Starting funds above average. You've got some extra funds in your pocket. Treat yourself to something nice. Okay, so let's give you a name, lady. Your Gia, Pen, and we don't need uh, whoever you were. Yep. And I'm not gonna go through the effort of this, so we're just gonna go and play. And yes, I have a mod. Let's move on. <laughs> And she has 25,000 simoleons. Does that mean that she has a little bit more money than an average sim? I'm not sure. But we're gonna move her here because I just copy going through the effort to choose a home for her. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of music. So yes, we are Agent Handler. We are level 3. Alright, alright. That's That's pretty good. Uh, we are on the level 0, 0 of 4. We have skills. Okay. We didn't know anyone. We don't have an inventory. We have nothing here. But hey, we are muter. Muter get a better boost for their skills when they're inspired. Okay. Okay. And they have none of these. Hey, I appreciate this a lot. This was actually really, really cool. Like, I hope the downies can get these. These are really cool. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, okay. Well, we got that to check out. It's middle of the night apparently. I'm so sorry you do not have anywhere to sleep, but you will survive, right? Yeah, yeah she will. She's a tough lady. So I'm sorry this become a little bit of a longer video, but I hope I entertained you even a little bit. And I will catch up with you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,